Hi, I'm Nick Schott, Senior Solutions Engineer at Postman. I'm an API practitioner helping customers scale their API programs. My background is in software development and enterprise architecture, including helping players in the finance, banking, and fintech space. Today, we're going to see how Postman, the API platform, can help companies like yours. According to our analysis and the trends we're observing, the payments and finance space faces a lot of challenges, such as a reactive start to new initiatives, cybersecurity threats, and legacy systems. But what if instead of a reactive start, you could have a proactive approach to innovation? Instead of legacy systems, you could modernize and unlock your backend services. Instead of fragmented approaches, you could streamline and innovate with API programs. To meet new business demands, you could actually exceed the expectations of your customers. And rather than responding reactively to cybersecurity threats, have actionable visibility and security throughout your infrastructure. With Postman, the API platform, you can achieve this. When we launch Postman, we can see information about our recently visited workspaces and collaboration amongst our team, updating collections and APIs. To deliver on our use case for a peer-to-peer -peer mobile payments application, we're going to use APIs in the private API network. The private API network is where it's very easy for me to find existing APIs across all my different workspaces. These can be categorized by line of business or by functionality. In our case, we're going to look at the open banking API. The open banking API has three versions that are in test, in production, and deprecated, I can go right into the workspace and take a look at this API and its spec. I also can say, before I do that, I want to view some documentation to see if this API will meet my needs. And it looks like this might do what I need it to in terms of uh, where I want to be within the banking infrastructure. And it seems that I could do a post to create a payment Yep, this looks like the kind of transaction I need to do. And here's even some example code to uh, that I could drop in to invoke this API. Now let's see how quickly we can get from here to our first API call. If I open this request, our time to first hello world can be pretty quick because now I'm going to say I do want to create a payment using post and my transaction came back as authorized. It's been created. And my test results are all positive. These tests can be instrumented from CICD as well as run from monitors or on demand. And as far as collaboration goes, if we want to make an adjustment to this API, for instance, we may notice that the currencies don't match. I can go into comment mode and say in comment mode, well, you know what, instead of EUR, I need you to update the um, currency, please. Mr. Enterprise Architect. And my peer VU can come in and resolve that. And that manifests as a uh, fork and then a pull request and merge. So there's a Git-like flow to make changes here and keep those updated, which you can see here. For instance, where I made a change to uh, fix the social security number to be in the proper format rather than uh, a masked format, we went ahead and added it in as an example. This really can let you uh, shift left in terms of your API designs. We have the ability to take the API specs, such as that open banking API, and generate a collection from them or connect to all different kinds of source code repositories. And then tie documentation as well as tests back to this parent API. Everything is controlled in a secure manner with role-based access control for users, groups, roles, and permissions where I could say on a given workspace, perhaps only my account squad or only my customer org or only the QA team can access certain collections. So that's how we can use the open banking API from our 
uh, private API network to help deliver on our peer-to-peer -peer mobile payments app. Now let's see how we can use the partner and public API networks to our advantage to make use of APIs for interoperability. Here in the public API network, I can see APIs for financial services, artificial intelligence, and a number of different use cases. I've also got APIs from third-party uh, vendors such as WhatsApp, Stripe, and DocuSign for me to integrate with different consumer points of access. So for instance, on our peer-to-peer -peer mobile payments app, we want to use the Stripe API. It's very easy for me to come into the Stripe um, public portal here and check out their API and again, very quickly get to my first API call or see an example of what would be returned when I list all the uh, connected accounts in a given um, user's profile. So very straightforward to not only consume APIs from the public and partner API networks, but also frankly to publish them there uh, based on your uh, generated collections. Thus, with Postman, the API platform, you can move from a reactive to a proactive start for innovation. Modernize your legacy systems. Meet and exceed the increasing demands of your consumers and achieve visibility and security throughout your infrastructure. Hence, giving you high productivity, consistent quality, and airtight governance. Please visit postman.com to learn more. Thank you.